All right, just gotta get that last cork. Oh, hey guys, Max the Game Boy here, and welcome back to another video. Now today, I just wanted to talk real quick about the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer that recently came out. And by recently, I mean like five weeks ago. But I just had some things I wanted to talk about the trailer and some speculation for what the game's gonna be more about. So, let's get into it. Now first, I'm gonna play me reacting to the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. Although I've already seen it, I'll still talk about some of the things. And then in greater detail after I watch the trailer, I'll talk about some things that stood out to me. So, let's get into it. So, let's see it. When getting attacked Ganon, Dorf, Zelda in trouble. I still am baffled by this. I just cannot wait for this game to come out. Like sporting the new haircut, liking it. Along with that hand thing going on with like, the actual enemy. New Stone Talus version of it. The Cobblin's also a point. Very interesting version of the classic attacks we're used to. Another interesting form of power I've never seen before. Breath of the Wild. More reverse music. Ooh, some of that chill music. Liking that. Yeah, so that's the trailer. I could watch that all day. <laughs> uh, another year to wait. Now, the main takeaway and my main theory about this Breath of the Wild 2 trailer, or at least what I believe, is how it's going to be involved in the new game, has to do with all the reversed stuff in the trailer. So there's kind of two main reverse components in this trailer. The music and some of the new powers Link has. This clip shows Link using new powers slash runes. Notice anything interesting about them? Now I don't know about you guys, but the powers slash runes in this trailer really seem to be pushing the idea of reversing the past, whether with that spike ball going back up the hill or that water droplet going back up to the ceiling where it came from. Now, considering that Nintendo has always kind of had time travel involved with Zelda, whether with the Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask with time travel always being present, and even with time shift stones in Skyward Sword, where time is reverted back to the original in a desert, making it more of a grassy landscape. Time travel has always been a big thing in Zelda, and all this reversing stuff really seems to be hinting at some more time travel in Breath of the Wild 2. Now considering all this reversing stuff going on, I think we're going to be traveling back. Maybe not back to Breath of the Wild 1, maybe even further back than that. Now for a look at some of the reversed audio in the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. <coughs> Sorry, allergies. Anyway, now that is definitely reverse audio, right? Again, hinting into the going back, reversing, going back to the past. The whole time travel thing is 
to me, getting hinted at a lot in this trailer. And if you're wondering what this reversed audio actually means, there's a video in the description that explains it really well and puts more stuff into this theory together. I highly recommend you check that video out because it supports this theory a lot more. Well, after that, my expectations for Breath of the Wild 2 are higher than ever, and I definitely think there's going to be some sort of time travel capability into Breath of the Wild 2, and I can't wait because I love me some time travel. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video and have any video ideas, comment them down below, and subscribe if you're new and like this sort of content, and even hit that like button. Just give it Anyway, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.